Big capital is increasingly piling into renewables such as solar and wind, but if you want a wilder ride on one of the fastest growing megatrends, you'll have to jump on the speeding train that's hydrogen. The investment world hasn't seen anything like this in a long time. We're looking at a mega billion dollar industry within a very short time span. So what is hydrogen? What's all the fuss about and why are governments the world over suddenly throwing tons of funding at this energy source? Hydrogen is the simplest of chemical elements. It's a flammable, gaseous substance that's colorless, odorless, and tasteless. It's also the most abundant element in the universe. But it doesn't occur naturally on the Earth as a gas. It's combined with other elements, such as oxygen, to create H2O. It's also found in hydrocarbons, including gasoline, natural gas, methanol, and propane but it can be separated out. The big sell here, though, is this. Hydrogen is high in energy, yet it produces almost no pollution when burned in an engine. So now, the holy grail for the energy industry appears to be the hydrogen fuel cell. It's not a new idea. General Motors built its first vehicle powered by hydrogen in 1966. It ended up in a museum. NASA's been using liquid hydrogen to propel rockets into orbit since the 1970s. Still, it never went mainstream. If it's been hyped for so long, why is it now one of the hottest topics in investment circles? Because climate change, and perhaps even the fear that the pandemic produced, has spurred investment in the development of the technology that would make hydrogen a cost-effective, clean way of storing renewable energy. In other words, it's now the main chemical element standing between climate change and a totally clean energy future. Hydrogen fuel cells combine hydrogen and oxygen to produce electricity, heat, and water, much like a battery. But while the original plan was to use lithium batteries for energy storage, they would have fallen short in terms of serving our renewable energy storage needs. Lithium ion batteries, the same that power our smartphones, can in no way compete with hydrogen if we scale it up. Hydrogen facilities could hold a thousand times more electricity than the biggest lithium ion complex in the world. And suddenly, we see ourselves heating and powering industrial operations, commercial buildings, and residential homes, all with hydrogen. We see ourselves powering vehicles and even planes. It could also save the shipping industry. The problem with renewable energy has always been that it's intermittent. In other words, it's unpredictable. These sources can't produce energy all the time. We need a plan B or we need enough storage. For now, natural gas is the only plan B that serves as a possible bridge to a clean energy transition. And while it's cleaner than other fossil fuels, it would not allow us a zero carbon future. All of this makes hydrogen wildly exciting. Now we have the technology, costs are falling, and there is a new sense of urgency to cut greenhouse gas emissions. The investment momentum in hydrogen is now on a tear, with governments lining up to see who can pour the most money into developing this to scale first. The industry used to joke that hydrogen was the fuel of the future, and always would be. Big Money says it's no joke, the hype has become reality, and the next billionaires are very likely to come out of this chemical element.